question number 18, we are told in the figure below, P, Q, R, and S are points on a, the circle with center O. P, R, T, and U, S, T, V are straight lines. Line U, S, T, V is a tangent to the circle at S. Angle R, S, T is equal to 50 degrees and R, T, V is equal to 150 degrees. So this is the information given here. So part A, calculate the size of uh, angle QRS. So to approach this, you, you need to fill the angles that you can be able to identify using the, the properties of cos and circles, uh, the topic in form 3. So here, because this angle is 180, you subtract 150 from 180, this angle is 30 degrees. Uh, since this is a radius and USTV is a tangent, it means this angle, the whole of this angle here, uh, that angle is uh, 90. And since we have been given this angle, then it means that angle here is 40, so that in total we get uh, 90. This is the radius of the circle, that is the radius of the circle, so this angle here is also 40 because uh, it is an isosceles triangle. Uh, so this angle here is equal to 100 degrees uh, and then we have uh, this angle we can use this property the angle made by the tangent and the chord is equals to the angle subtended by the chord at the circumference so this angle here is 50 or you can use the property that angle subtended at the circumference is half the angle subtended at the center uh, now that uh, those are so we check now since we have this angle 30 this is 50 that add up to 90 so this angle here is a hundred degrees uh, so if that angle is a hundred uh, now this angle is a is a hundred uh, then uh, since here we have angle 100 plus 40 and uh, that is 140 it means this angle here is 40 degrees and uh, this angle here that is prs is 80 and therefore it is equivalent to this angle uh, that makes a chord with uh, that is ps and uh, the tangent so we have that if we draw a line here maybe we use a different color we draw a line here then this angle is 40 so it means this is an isosceles triangle and this is these two angles are equal that is 10 degrees and the angle that you make here uh, so you'll be left with angle 50. now from there uh we, the, we have pqrs is a uh, is a cyclic quadrilateral and opposite uh, opposite angles add up to 180 so since this angle here this is 40 and 10 that is 50 minus 180 it means that angle it means that angle here is 130 that is 130 now looking at all those angles i couldn't come up with angle qrs i tried to look all the properties that could give me that and therefore i didn't get that so but in some papers i went through they were talking of uh, qrs uh, that is o r s that which is 40. So I'm not sure who the, the, the whether that value was correct, uh, that angle was correct, or it was supposed to be ORS. So we look at USP. USP we have already identified it is 80 degrees. Then PQR we have identified it is 130 degrees. So as long as you have put your values on the diagram, show it shows that uh, you have identified the angles you should be able to get the two marks although uh, what is required is for you to state the properties that you have used to get these angles part b of this question you are told given that rt is seven so this is seven centimeter and st is nine centimeter uh, calculate to these significant figures the length of uh, PR. So this is our uh, our PR. 
So if we say, let's say our PR is equal to t, t is x, if you multiply TR multiplied by TP should be equals to TS squared. That's a property that you run in circles and chords. So you say uh, 7, you multiply by uh, x plus 7 should be equals to 9 squared. So this is 7x uh, plus 49. Uh, that will give you 81. Uh, 7x is equals, take the 49 to the other side, 81 minus 49, you get 32, divide by 7 both sides, you'll be able to get 4.57, uh, that is a centimeter. So that is how you get that. Then from there, the radius. The radius of the circle, now that we have found the value of x, uh, if we perpendicular bisector of this chord, uh, PR uh, passes through the center of the circle. Uh, so we can get the, and since we have this angle, that is angle 40 here, then we we'll say uh, the cosine of uh, cos angle 40 is equals to degrees, is equals to, now the adjacent side is a half, uh, a half of 4.57 you divide by the hypotenuse, which is the radius. So radius implying that R is equals to a half times 4.57. Uh, you divide by cos 30, cos 40 rather, and using your calculator, then you should be able to get it is equals to uh, 2.98. So that and uh, that is centimeter. So that is how you work out that question, and you get yourself full mark. Get more of this. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Then click this icon to get the notification whenever I produce a new video. You can call or WhatsApp me if you have any questions or you want to book an online class.